Heads up. Because on this episode of World Twilight Gopher, we'll be headed to the state of Nebraska, and we'll be looking at Covington Links Golf Club, a beautiful championship 18-hole golf course located on the Missouri River and only a short 15-minute drive from the local airport. And Nebraska has over 200 golf courses to choose from. We only looked at one golf course in the state, and this course stretches just below 6,000 yards. The course stretches a total of 5,677 yards with a slope of 130 and a ranking of 68.8 and is a par 71. This exciting 18-hole golf course was designed by Martin Johnson and is ranked 4 out of 4 according to Google and is a pretty fun golf course on this trip across the United States playing one golf course in each state. Although the course doesn't host any major events nor has made any awards, it's still a fun 18-hole golf course that is very reasonable for the price. And since opening in 1977, this 18-hole golf course has been available. And since opening in 1977, the rates have stayed low themselves. The cottonwood trees on the course make for an exciting golf round. It feels like it's almost raining sometimes in the wind because of the cotton that goes through the course. Something I've never witnessed on any golf course I've ever played. And as for green fees, on the weekdays look to pay up to $22 for 18 holes and on the weekends $24 for 18 holes. Riding carts can go up to about $12 for 18 holes. Now this video is only going to show the first nine holes of this golf course and that's because a tournament went out shortly after I played but I really had the course to myself and I would highly recommend this golf course to any range of golfer whether starting off or a professional. It was a fun golf course with, with its landscapes, their trees and just the overall feel of the area. It made for a unique round of golf. Now the hole that we're looking at right here is slowly going to bring you into the Missouri River where there's actually four holes that sit alongside of it. That's pretty unique and you can see as we come right up there on that green there was the Missouri River. Not too much there but then it goes right into a par three as we're looking at here. Overall the course did play pretty tight on some of the par fives and they were right next to each other so if you did spray the ball you might end up in the other fairway. Not too many people on the course so you were able to go after it on two. A lot of trees to hit. This is one of my favorite holes here and really a narrow tee shot right off the bat. And if you put the ball left or right, you're in trouble. Now the course really made for some recovery shots out of the other fairway or potential rough area. As you can see right here, you could, you could definitely get it up and down on two if you went for it hard. Or you can hit a tree. It can go anywhere at that point. Now I would rank this golf course... I would put it as one of my favorite golf courses to play. It was very memorable with the cotton that was kind of rolling through the course periodically. And then the cornfields, as you could see on the left-hand side of this short little par 4. And another reason why I would rank this so high it was one of the states that I actually did get a birdie in. There weren't too many that I got in along this trip across the country playing one golf course in every country. As you can see, the cornfields right there, pretty unique. I mean, I... Not many times you can hit a ball into the cornfield. Now, I was lucky enough to keep this ball straight and put it right between that tight tree line, as you can see right there, giving me a shot at that birdie opportunity. Now, if you're looking to go through Nebraska and you're trying to hit a few states along the way, this location really drops you off at three states, so it's highly recommended. And overall, if you're just passing through the area, I would take a look. Now, we're going to be headed to another state, so keep a lookout for more videos to come. This is World Twilight Gopher. And make sure you subscribe below if you made it this far. I can't believe it.